Are great white sharks present in British waters? It's a long debated subject. No one has ever photographed one for sure, but from the news clips every summer, there are plenty of sightings. Although attacks globally are rare, a breaching great white strikes fear in most people. Ranging in size from four meters to seven, can weigh up to five ton. 2020 saw two new shark species identified. What else is out there? Sharks are starting to disappear from South Africa. Are they migrating north towards British shores? Let's find out. To break this video down, we're going to look at water temperature conditions. Are they viable for great whites? We're going to look at food sources. Is there enough here for them to eat in British waters? We're going to look at sightings. Are any of them credible, or are they just crazy people making it up? We're going to look at the evidence. Any evidence? Uh, any technology in the future that could aid us, like tracking software, you know, drones, etc. Also, sharks in Britain, this might surprise some of you. Uh, you might be thinking, who is this guy? What's he know about sharks? And to be fair, you'd be right. I'm not a marine biologist, not by any stretch. However, I'm just an enthusiastic amateur who've been brought up on an island. I spent a lot of my time in the water. I'm a certified scuba diver, I've been free diving since 2009, I kayaked swim in the sea but you're right i'm not a scientist however i have had my fair share of shark encounters with big sharks as well in this bay behind me here port Aaron bay i've been out kayaking when they come across basking shark which is the second largest fish in the world obviously regarded as the largest fish we get in british waters yeah, right there Roughly about here. I've also swam with the largest fish, largest shark, which is the whale shark in Mexico. I've done great white shark cage diving in the Neptune Islands in uh, South Australia. Uh, that's where they film the underwater scenes for Jaws. So free dived with a tiger shark. That wasn't intentional. Uh, made it onto uh, Australian local news with that one. Uh, that was in Noosa, a place called Noosa Heads. I've also swam with various oceanic uh, white tips, black tips in the Indian Ocean. So, as you can say, I'm no expert, but I just find sharks fascinating. And I'm sure people watching this video probably do too. Let's get amongst it. Sharks, sharks in British waters, eh? No, I'm not crazy. There are sharks in British waters. I'm gonna use my notes for this one because uh, I can't quite remember everything that I wanna say. Okay, so, more sharks here than you might think. Uh, quite often when I talk about sharks here, people think I'm a little bit uptapped. However, about 10 million small sharks, dogfish, etc. Uh, 100,000 large sharks here, and about spanning across 40 species, 40 plus, and that's from the National Geographic. So let's go through a few types of shark here. So you've got your Greenland shark. Uh, they're, they're quite rare, you don't see them often. Uh, smooth hammerhead sharks are here. You've got the thresher, which is quite a stocky shark with a big long tail. Uh, the thresher shark can breach out of the water. Sometimes it uses its tail, which can be as long as its body to startle prey. You've got the blue shark. Again, quite a big shark. Uh, they're regularly caught off the Cornish coast, um, quite sought after by the sea anglers. Uh, you can even dive with them, believe it or not. There's places that will take you out, chum the water and these things will come in. Then you've got the Baskin sharks, which is what I discussed earlier in this bay. Um, plenty of drone footage from here. I'll put some on the screen now. Okay, I wanna focus on one particular type of shark, the poor beagle. Now this shark, it's a cousin to the great white and the mako. It's, it's a mackerel or lamnidae shark, part of that family. They grow up to 12 feet long. Now you might be thinking, big deal. So they can regulate their own body temperature around above the surrounding water. And a 177 kilo one, which is 28 stone in old money, was reeled in off the Devon coast in May 2018. There was also a 136 kilogram one 
quarter off uh, the Welsh coast, 2014. These are big sharks. And you can't help but notice that they do look just like great whites. And you've got the short fin mako, which is arguably the most dangerous shark in our waters. Uh, it was originally thought to be responsible for the attacks in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, uh, alongside the oceanic white tip, but I think they ruled it out in the end. And let's not forget the orcas. There is a resonant pod of orca, or killer whales, year round, resident on the west coast of Scotland, so near Shetland and Orkney. They're big ass things. So, sea temperature in the UK. Is it viable for great white sharks? First things first, great white sharks are fine in waters 14 degrees Celsius and above. So, that being said, the British Isles. So our averages, six to 10 degrees Celsius in winter and 15 to 20 degrees Celsius in summer. So to put that in perspective, recently, there was a great white shark attack in New Zealand, Wahihi Beach in North Island, Uh, now, I've recently been to New Zealand and I swam off there, a similar area, and I can tell you the water wasn't warm. However, I checked on this uh, website and it shows the temperature of water on that day was between 17 and 22, which is roughly where ours sits at in British summertime. Uh, a 19 year old unfortunately lost her life due to a great white shark attack. Let's look at some of the other shark hotspots of the world and what their sea temperatures are like. So you've got Mossel Bay, South Africa. Now, this is a prime area where we've all seen it in Shark Week, where great whites have breached out the water. You might be surprised to find out the water temperature there ranges between 15 degrees and 22 degrees. And you've got Adelaide, where I went close to where I went, great white shark diving. 12 to 20 degrees Celsius is their water temperature. And then you've got Newquay, Newquay British summer, 19 degrees. So as I've said, above 14 degrees is viable for great whites. Now that being said, a lot of people didn't believe that great white sharks were in Chatham Mass and uh, Cape Cod. And it was only roughly around about 2010 that they were discovered. And that's believed to be due to increase in the seal colony. Uh, they've got roughly 15,000 gray seals there. Bear that number in mind, because when I talk about food sources, you might be surprised how many seals we have in Scotland. Seals and sea lions, as we know, are number one on the great white sharks menu for ideal food sources. A bit like chicken nuggets and McDonald's are to teenagers. You might think, well, we've, we don't have many of them in British waters. Well, in Scotland, in Orkney, they have the largest concentration of seals in Europe. They've got 25 to 30,000 gray seals and approximately 7,000 common seals. Let's not forget there's been an increase in bluefin tuna in our waters, uh, an increase in foraging fish such as mackerel. Um, and of course, sharks, sharks are cannibals. They will kill and eat each other. And I've already discussed the numbers of sharks we have in our waters. So yeah, there's plenty of food sources for them boys to eat. Okay, so there's been around about 100 reported sightings of great white sharks in British waters. Now, according to the Sharks Trust who investigate these, they've narrowed it down to probably 10% of those are credible. Uh, I'm going to put a map up, arc on the map here, roughly where, um, where most of these sightings are in the UK. As you can see, Devon, Cornish coast, up through Wales, and mostly around the western coast of Scotland. So, for me, they're definitely travelling through where I live, which is here, the Isle of Man. Arguably the most credible sighting is uh, from a marine biologist, Dr. Simon Greenstreet. Simon and his wife came face to face with a great white shark while scuba diving at an uninhibited summer island, the Summer Isles, I believe it's called, uh, west of Ullapool, Scotland, in July 2003. The shark was swimming approximately 40 meters from their boat when it turned and came purposefully and aggressively towards the boat as the outboard motor was started. Simon, a trained scientist, noted the specific pointed snout, the grey-white coloration, the eye positioning, 
the large shape of the dorsal fin and the size of the shark reaching approximately five meters long. Now Simon had seen basking sharks before, and plenty of them, and quickly deduced this wasn't one. The shark swam next to the boat for a good 15 seconds. Dr. Greenstreet to this day remains certain it was a great white shark. Richard Pierce, Britain's leading shark expert said, Simon Greenstreet's was the most credible sighting off Scotland to my knowledge. He's a trained scientist who's trained to observe and report accurately. So we're fairly confident he didn't mistake this shark for a basking shark, which happens quite often. Another sighting that's got a bit of momentum is by a skipper on a fishing vessel off uh, the Devon coast, Pete Williams. Uh, he saw a great white in August 2014 and claims he was within a few feet. Uh, he said it was 12 foot long. And again, from the, uh, from the sort of stocky stance and the pointed snout, etc., that it was a white shark. He said, I've seen plenty of sharks. I know, I know my sharks, this was a white shark. And there's plenty of other sightings as well. Another person, Ashley Lane, who runs fishing trips south coast, also had a similar sighting, a similar time as well. Uh, however, you always have to be dubious of people who are running fishing trips or tourism trips because they might just be boosting their uh, profile. However, I don't think this was the case. So we're gonna have a little look here now at some of the evidence-based stuff, uh, some of the technology that we have uh, around now might help us identify these great whites in the future if they do come in our waters. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. You can comment below if you think they are. So O-Search, which is a shark data tagging organization, tag sharks off, of, off the coast of America. If you haven't seen them, I'll put a link below to their organization, it's really cool. Now, they tagged one shark that traveled from South Africa to Australia and back, doing a round total of 11,800 miles. Now you might be thinking, which is what I was thinking before, okay, maybe one day one of these sharks will come and they'll, they'll tag it all the way to the UK. Now, credibly, one was tagged 1200 kilometers off the west coast of Ireland. I don't know if you ever saw the news reports. Everyone was getting excited that it was, it was a great white headed our way. However, there was a bit on their website, and I don't know if it was a glitch, but there was a white shark indicator just off Cornwall um, last summer. Um, don't know how true that is. So moving on, uh, graphic warning, by the way, uh, we're gonna look at some dolphin and seal corpses here. So a dolphin corpse washed up on Cornwall beach seals washing up at Great Yarmouth. Now, they do look like bite marks. However, we all know every crustacean in the sea might have had a crack at them, might have been hit by a propeller. However, uh, a well-known shark expert, Ian Ferguson, said had these washed up in South Africa, they would definitely have been confirmed as shark attacks. So make your own mind up based on that. Very, very interesting. So just on the technology thing, drone like this, tiny little thing, it's got a range of about two miles. Loads of people, a very consumable item, loads of people have got these now. And as you've seen some of the footage, even in this bay behind me, sharks are getting followed by these. So if a great white does come in, it might get caught with these. You never know. And also the likes of these, GoPro action cameras. These are really accessible. They're waterproof up to, I don't know how many meters. I use it for free diving always got a camera on me I think a lot of people are quite like that so these reported their uh, sightings that we've seen from like early 2000s to you know people didn't necessarily have these cameras with them whereas these days I believe they will so if, if these sightings are genuine in future I think we will get them we will get them on camera so exciting times now where I live people have always swam in the sea but can't help but notice the likes of the Wim Hof stuff and all the cold water therapy there's definitely been an increase of people swimming in the sea this group of people right here they're about to go in for a sea swim so inevitably are these people going to come into more contact with marine life i personally believe sharks are intelligent they know the difference between humans and seals and their prey So I hope I provided some form of entertainment value, at least, like say I'm no scientist, um, on, on uh, the possibility of great white sharks appearing out there one day. 
you never know. What we'll say is it's not been an unprovoked shark attack in British waters since like 1854. So there's absolutely nothing to be worried about out there, guys. Certainly with so many sharks in decline due to um, shark fin fishing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you only have to watch that sea spiracies to realize sharks are really endangered. Any shark that you see in our, our ocean is, is a, you should be celebrated. And uh, you know, great whites are a rare shark anyway, but I can only hope one day that we do, we do discover them in our waters. Dr. Ken Collins, a, a, a researcher, professor at uh, the University of Southampton, believes that by 2050, we're gonna see quite a few other species of sharks. He says um, great whites have potential, obviously. However, you're looking at the likes of um, great hammerhead, black tip reef sharks, we've got the sand tigers, and also the oceanic white tips by 2050. Whether that's due to global warming or, or whatever, I don't know. Great whites are a rare fish. Is, is it possible they're here? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's get some debate going. And uh, going forward, I'll be um, filming a bit more of my sea adventures, whether it's free diving, scuba diving, kayaking, or just general me being me. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. It'd be great to hear from you down below. Catch you on the next one. Guys, Matt from the future here, minus uh, my mustache, which was for mental health campaign. Uh, just on a quick one, anybody who has had any shark sightings uh, in British waters that they want to share, because I do want to make a follow up video, uh, hit me up on Instagram or via the email address that I've already stated. It'd be great to hear from you. And just one other thing, um, this video will never be monetized. Uh, it's purely, there'll be no adverts ever on this, it's purely just to share my interest in great whites and sharks with, uh, with you guys out there on YouTube. So give it a thumbs up for that. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, see you again. Thanks very much, guys. See you on the next one.